Okay, here's one more group of four. These are, uh, according to Mark, these are cubes modified by the dodecahedron form of fluorite. I, I don't know. I, I believe him. Mark Wilson's okay with me. <clears throat> and it's on a rhomb of fluorite, or, or calcite. You see the rhomb right here going up to the point, complete on top and all around. And very interesting piece. It's like contacted right there at the bottom, so it would be stood up like this pretty, pretty nicely. And this was $175. I thought it was a pretty good deal. Next one of these uh, beautiful green, perfect cubes. No damage on this one. Uh, that's obvious, anyways. Um, and it's sprinkled with with calcites. This little piece. This one was $100. And, and then a couple of really clear ones. This is uh, from Zhuang Hua Ling, which is a, a very pretty famous fluorite locality in China. You can see there, just they almost disappear. This might be difficult to photograph it. It's right down to the matrix. That's the matrix right there. And these are just cubes sitting on top. And this was $175, a little more expensive, but really, really nice. And then another one, which is uh, for $90. It's a crystal clear right down to the matrix. This is on a knob. It's, it's complete to the top and all the way around. There's no fluorites on the back, but it's the, uh, looks like dolomite or calcite, one of the two. 90 bucks, pretty nice piece. So there's four more.